Sports Matters TV, bringing the sports home. Okay guys, welcome to Sports Matters TV. Uh, we're in Dublin, it's great to be back in Dublin. Uh, this kind legend of a man has invited us to his house as well. Uh, Mr Fagan, first of all, how are you keeping? Fine, thank good. you. Yeah, all good. Now, you've had, to me, when, when, I, when I think of Irish boxing, there's always three names. Yourself, Andy Lee, and of course, Mr Duddy. I was saying Ruddy there for a while. But <laughs> you, you had the three names that I'll always remember in Irish boxing, you know, from an early age. Um, now, you, you took up boxing quite late, mm. um, which is incredible for what you achieved, but mm. you were also a gifted soccer player. Um, you played mm. a lot of football when you were younger, mm. and you ended up in Oklahoma, obviously college, and tell us how all that started, first of all. How did you uh, get up to the States? Because you were there for quite some time. Yeah, I was there for 10 years, all, all in all. I was, uh, I, as, a, I was, as I was saying to you earlier on, I started everything really late. Like I was even, even going over on scholarship. Most kids were going over straight after school and all that. Yeah. Um, I wasn't one for school at one, at one stage. I was, I was just a messy kid, like so. <laughs> uh, ended up um, working in Duns as a in the in the deli for for three or four years, yeah. and then I had a particularly good game. I was playing with my local side, uh, Port Marnock, uh, and but we had a really really good uh, junior side. So we played Cherry Orchard in a in a final, and uh, a junior cup final uh, back in ninety. I think it was ninety six. Yeah, and uh, I had a particularly good game, and they wrote about me in the papers the next day, and that's the kind of stuff. And and I, I had been sending my stuff away to to get to get uh, scholarships yeah. uh, before that, but uh, this the the game against Cherry Archer like really did me did me did me well, and uh, uh, sent the the new footage over, and uh, they uh, suddenly uh, picked up on it, ended up uh, going over for. Uh, it was a four year stint for my for my degrees. I got a degree in uh, PE and another one political journalism. Yeah. And after after that, um fell on hard times then. I lived in the back of a car for a while. I wouldn't mind but like if if uh, if I had told my parents and felt that they would have sent money <laughs> over and sort me out straight away. But it was just yeah. kinda like because I I hadn't been a good student in school as a kid and now I, all of a sudden I was I was I had two degrees with honors like yeah. I was I kind of wanted to stay on that level. I didn't want to tell tell anybody that I'd be I, I just wasn't having any luck in finding work or, or anything like that. So I stayed in the car for a while, praying every night. I have a lot of faith. Uh, praying every night. I just wondered what I was going to do. So I just went down to a boxing club, and uh, one of my Jamaican friends put me in touch with a fella, and he says uh, that uh, one of his pals. Was um uh, uh went professional as as a boxer, but he reckoned that I was even better than him, because we just used to do a little bit of sparring and stuff like that. So I said, whatever. Like I I, I knew it was tough, but uh I wouldn't have wouldn't have great skills or anything like that. So just went in very raw. Um, went into a boxing club and Booksmith was the guy who was in charge at the time, and he was he has the the most winning winningest record uh in the world i think he's in the guinness book of records for he had 160 wins in a row and i think he in the end i think he had 220 pro fights and lost about 20 of them but like that's it's yeah. amazing you know you know uh so he mixed in some of the great bit great circles and terrible that he's fought the best and the worst in boxing but he was he was a good guy and he gave me the chance to go on his card and so we trained hard, and uh, he put me in against a guy called Sheldon Mosley uh, for my first fight, and it was uh, his first fight too. And but he was supposed to beat me up because he was a big, long, long boxer. Had like he was inches taller than me, and he had inches reach on me and all that. So he beat me up for the first couple of rounds, but uh, couldn't understand why this mad Irish man kept on coming for him. <laughs> and so I could see the see see his eye, see in his eyes thinking, oh, what's going on there? Okay. So I hit him with an overhand right, I saw his legs buckle, and I just went in, and I just kept on, they were windmills, like, I, I just wasn't letting up, and uh, ended up the ref came in and stopped the fight, and uh, as I got out of the rain then, I was thinking to myself, I just after winning my first professional fight, like, I didn't even, wasn't even a boxer, like, so, went down to the get changed, and on the way down, I, I met a guy called Phil Cunningham, who was a, a, a principal of a school, in uh, inner city school in Oklahoma, he said, I believe you're a qualified school teacher. He says, I says, yeah, but nobody's messing with my green card. He says, just so happens my PE teacher left in our notes, come in and, and we'll have a, have a chat and we'll, uh, if you if you do well in the interview, the, the job's yeah, yours, nice. you know? And, and, and that was it. And it's yeah. like, you were out there for so many years. Like, what was the, um, 
the transition, obviously, you know, being an Irish lad from mm. Dublin, you know, mm. like, different game altogether. Like, Gorko sure Hummus, it's, it's, it's pretty much a big place, but, like, yeah. what was the transition? Like, how did you adjust straight away? Did you find a hell at the start, or? It was really tough at the start, yeah. Like, it was a real homeboard kind of thing, you know, yeah. so I, 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 uh, I was missing home from the very, very start. My, my, uh, I have a great family at home, and, and, and the thing was that I went over, but I remember I, one of my friends, Jason, uh, he was on a scholarship to a place in Chicago, Lewis University it was called, and uh, he said, no, it'll be hard for the first couple of years, but, but don't don't give that up. And I was thinking of giving it up in the, in the, after the first year. I was enjoying myself, but I was here going, oh, well, I've kind of had that experience, you know, yeah. I'll just go on. But uh, thank God I didn't, you know, and I ended up, um, ended up doing well in the end, you know. That's the main thing. Mm. And speaking of the, the, the boxing career, we were always watching out for them big fights. There was a lot of fights that could have happened that didn't happen yeah. as well. We always seen you mention with them names. But speaking of opponents, obviously, uh, Mr. Julio. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. He, he, was, he was lucky. That fight, you, mm. you you pretty much won, we thought. like you know, And, yeah. and obviously, being a young fighter, his dad's a legend. Mm. We know there's a bit of politics in boxing sometimes. And he brought me into the ring as well. And, and, on the undercard of an Eric Morales fight, yeah. So that was like there was six, uh, I think sixteen or eighteen thousand Mexicans in the in the place, and there was you know, six Irish lads. <laughs> but uh, that was a great old time. It was what it was a fantastic experience, you know. Yeah. Uh, went in and uh, uh, and he was five and old at the time, and I was five and one at the time. Obviously, I'd done things the hard way because I just started out and I fought everybody yeah. who, who was brought who was brought to me so I was I wasn't being properly protected, you know, uh, as 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 some of them are. Uh, and I suppose uh, Chavez would have thought of me as an as an easy touch before he <laughs> before he fought me. <laughs> and then afterwards like I yeah, I, I felt like I bet I bet him. Um in fact I, I won three three of the four rounds for sure. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the uh, the one round I threw a Sydney uppercut from outside, outside, way outside, and he caught me with a, a nice right hand. Now I went, the glove touched the ground, which meant that the the, the count was going in, and it was gonna it was gonna be a 10, 10 nine round to me, and turned into a ten eight round to him. And sure, that's that's how that's he how he won the fight. So I was, yeah. You know. It's and like you, you've been around so many boxes, like throughout the gyms and stuff. Like, would you have ever spared any big names that we never heard about? Like, obviously, you, there was quite a bit of sparing. Would it be? Yeah, well, I wouldn't have spared. Uh, Wayne McCullen became a good friend of mine. I used to, I went to Vegas to spar with Wayne a bit. Uh, Kevin Kelly as well. Yeah, uh, who, who, who was yeah. who was uh, Wayne's friend? Yeah, uh, uh, Car- me and Carson Jones used to hang around when we were in uh, in in Oklahoma. Uh, he's uh, he was a really good boxer. He gave gave uh, Kel Brook an awful time, yeah. uh, and I was in his corner for the two fights uh, with him and him and Kel, and uh, yeah, there's, there's been plenty of plenty of lads that that have inspired. Like I wouldn't show you away now, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see that by looking at you. You're, you're very lively, and you know you still look fresh. I was really saying that to you yesterday. Yeah. You still look fresh. And speaking of a Mr. Armer Khan, yeah. um, obviously Armer went on to use things as well. Yeah. Uh, what was it like to get in the ring with him? We know it was right. unfortunate the way the fight ended. Yeah. Obviously, I think it was the, the leg break and stuff. But yeah. obviously, nice to be in there and obviously mm. to fight Armer. Yeah, like I have to say, like as much good and bad press he gets, like he was, he was a gentleman to me, a really nice guy. He, uh, he. Uh, was just there to do a job, and yeah. in, in fairness to him, he did his job well. I came out in the in the fight, raring to go. I was I was quite confident uh, going into the fight. Uh, he'd just been knocked out by Prescott, and I so I I thought that I'd either get get him at the very best time or the very worst time. Yeah, and ended up I didn't even know whether it was a good or a bad time because when the le- the leg went, the leg went, and yeah. Me like an Egypt got up to fight on with a broken leg, and uh, just kept on falling. Sure, he wasn't even punching me at that stage. Then I was falling because I couldn't keep me keep me balanced on the leg at all, you know. But yeah. I had to put on the brave face as the fighters do, you know. And uh, it was I was tough. Isn't even to even to this day I I, I get upset even thinking about it because it was, like it was on such a big stage, Sky Sports. It was the first time like I I won my won my Irish title the the year pre- previously or two year two years previously yeah. and it was on little bits were on RT I think they showed two or three rounds on RT which was nice yeah. so locally people would have been starting to know me as a, as a good boxer but the minute that that can fight came and like the whole world was watching then 
I could understand that people were saying, oh, your man's brutal, you know, he just comes out. And now the target areas we were we, that were identified were the tops of the top of his head, around the temples of his head. So yeah. I was throwing big wide, wide shots. And you know, a couple of them got through. Like, uh, like the first minute of the of the fight, like it was, it was, it was toe to toe. But it was, um, but then when he hit me with a nice short right hand, I think it was, and I just heard my, I just heard my leg go. I heard a crack in my leg. I was here going, <laughs> that, that ain't good. That's not good. And uh, I went down, and then you could probably see me uh, in the in the replays. I had to actually go up to the and climb the ropes yeah. to get back up. And of course, then I had to put on the brave face, pretend I wasn't the horse because he would have jumped all over me. But I suppose he jumped all over me anyway. And uh, and sure, I went down a couple more times then. And then, now, but then I went into the second round then, and uh, I just uh, just tried to tried to do as well as I could. But I knew it was gone after that, you know. The hat, the hat was unbelievable in that fight. Though we yeah. we seen, I remember people said afterwards they don't to even continue. Like yeah. it was unbelievable. I appreciate that, like especially when I I, I somebody said something about. You know, when footballers go down or like getting blown over by a gentle breeze, you know, and yeah. and they're getting paid hundreds of thousands a, a week for it and, and they're there somebody actually do does break their leg and, yeah. and tries to fight on, I suppose it's uh, just uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit hard when you when you when you so, think yeah. of that, you know. But, yeah. And like speaking of boxing as well, like what what's what you what would stand out for you as your 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 greatest achievement in boxing? Because you've done quite a lot, you've been all over the world. Mm. Like what would stand out to you? Well, my my favorite night was when I won my Irish title. I yeah. think, uh, fought Jeff Thomas, and he was a he was a good guy too, and uh, we uh, it went seven rounds. I I sought him in the seventh. I had him down in the fifth, but I was just I was just I was, I was dogged that night, and I wasn't taking my foot off the off the pedal at all. Yeah. I was in front of my friends and family for the first real time. I'd had one fight in the stadium before that. Uh, where I be- beat an American dude, uh, Richie uh, Shifo, in one round. But uh, this uh, um, this fight against Jeff, I was actually supposed to fight... Um, uh, uh, what was his name? The fellow who lost uh, oh. Gom- or beat Gomez. Uh, oh, no, he'll, he'll come to me. Yeah, Peter, Peter McDonald. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Peter, Peter is Brit. Actually, Peter started getting better as he went on as well. Yeah. Like, he had a really mediocre record, like a twenty wins and twenty losses or something like that. Yeah. But he he ended up beating some really really good good boxers. So I was really, uh, I was delighted that myself and himself were going to fight. Uh, go. I thought it was going to be Gomez myself because I thought Gomez had the better better credentials and all that. But I have to say, Peter gave him gave him all he could that night, and I think. Uh, Gomez seeing that how tough uh, that uh, that uh, McDonough was, yeah. he uh, he lost heart then you know, so uh, end up we were myself and uh, Peter was supposed to fight and then few I think it was only a week before uh, before that fight was supposed to come on I was I was in I was teaching school at the time and I was on my way I was gonna get uh, go over the fo- uh, the following couple of days and I read on a report that. He pulled out the fight. Yeah, I remember, you weren't happy about that either because you wanted that fight. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did want that, that fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of started kind of slagging him over over his over his dodgy knee or whatever it was, but uh, he. Uh, but uh, listen, I don't know what, what what happened there, but it, anyway, it happened the way it happened, and I ended up fighting Jeff, or, uh, Jeff Thomas, and uh, stopping him in the seventh, and it's a bit. Uh, it was great, like you know, celebrations. Yeah, she had a family. Yeah, yeah, from the family and friends. That's what's all about. And yeah. we we seen the belt as well. It looks it's a beautiful belt, like it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like you're still involved in boxing today. Yeah. Um, still, there's so many gifted yeah. young boxers in this yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you obviously enjoy it still. Yeah, oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like boxing has li- literally saved my life. You know, like. Uh, as I was saying, like from the from the early days, I thought well, I wanted to be a professional footballer, like half the half of the country, you know, yeah. and that didn't happen. But I just always felt that when uh, things got tough, then and I'd be and as I said, I had loads of faith and I was praying a lot. Uh, I always came through, not exactly the way I wanted it to come through, yeah. but it something happened that was even better than what I was even was. praying for. It was kind of weird the way the way that works, but I, I'm happy with the way. With the cars, uh, cars I was dealt, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was that was a great old time. Really enjoyed it. Like, uh, but uh, can really good, and I, I liked, uh, I liked see, uh, I like to see him see him do well, you know. Uh, yeah. 
and he's uh, he's, he's so fast. His God, speed, it's unbelievable. Speed, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, it really, really is incredible. But uh, yeah, the the Thomas fight is probably the, my highlight. Yeah, yeah. That, you know. Great memories and uh, an Irish legend in my eyes as well. Yeah, nice, I man. always remember them three names. But uh, thanks for having us here today. We no, appreciate no, no, it, no, no, and we'll yeah. we'll tag you. And I know that we'll see you around the country still lining your boxes. Yeah. Thank Sounds you very much. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Sports Matters TV, bringing the sports home.